Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jamie with Wild Foods, and today I wanted to share a few tips on conventional coffee versus uh, organic coffee, or ours for that matter. And um, it's very crucial that people are aware of the differences here because there are a ton of brands currently on the market that are not organic, they're not sourced responsibly, and they truly contain pesticides that you really should not be ingesting. So it's important to be aware of all of this. Here's just an, uh, an example of a study uh, published on PubMed, and it shows that there is a there are pesticide residues on imported green coffee from 21 different countries here's just an example of some and there are tons of other studies covering this topic because it's just well known that this is definitely an issue and people just go about their day and they go to the coffee shop they go to any random coffee shop starbucks um other various coffee shops and they don't realize that they're buying pesticide laden coffee so obviously it's ideal to um look into this find out what your sources are but i it's, it would be ideal to make your own coffee at home so then you have control over the variables um and then I wanted to show you guys our website. Uh, here's a list of our coffees. <clears throat> so we've got all sorts, but we all, uh, all of them are organic and they're also fair trade. And each, each uh, listing here shows you the breakdown of where uh, the, the various regions where they're from and the kind of bean they are and the actual processes. Like here is single origin, organic, high altitude beans rated premium grade one, the elevation levels. So we really try to stay transparent with all of that information because it's just crucial when, um, you know, when you guys are buying our products that you have this information and it's very important. Here is something really interesting um, that I wanted to show you guys. It's eight coffee brands to avoid. This is just a perfectly curated list that I like to refer to. Um, it kind of summed up, I was gonna share with you guys and just run down each one, but this curates it perfectly. So when you go into the grocery store, you see Folgers and Maxwell House, all these brands, Dunkin' Donuts, like all these boxed and um, you know brands that sit on the shelf, these Keurig cups, uh, Seattle's Best, and then just other various store brands. And you know, people think that they're doing themselves, you know, a positive when buying the store brands, but in reality, they're just like way worse. Um, they're gonna be less expensive, but they're just covered in pesticides. So really be careful of all this stuff, guys. Highly, highly recommend to just do a whole clean out of your coffees and be sure to buy high quality organic only because they are one of the you know, they're covered, the coffee crops are just covered in pesticides if you don't go organic. So I wanted to just share with you guys a little bit about that. It's just really important to keep an eye on, um, you know, where all of your products are coming from. Sourcing is key. We truly believe in sourcing from small farms and we want to support uh, farmers in every way we can because uh, the industry is just... It's a, it's a tough one out there um, with these big corporations and they don't they don't care about the customer they just care about profit and uh, you know we don't stand behind that so I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this little piece of conventional versus organic be sure to just do your research and and be aware of what you're buying um, and what you're consuming hope you guys have a great day bye